Hello guys! As promised, ito na yung one brand makeup tutorial ko wherein ang gagamitin kong products is all from Miniso. So if you wanna know how I do my one brand makeup tutorial from Miniso, please keep on watching. For my makeup base, I'm going to use my Hydro Light BB Cream. Put it in the back of my hand. Since kung nag-haul tayo, nakita natin na light lang yung coverage niya, we're going to put a generous amount at the back of our hand. I will be applying it using my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I'm going to put Cushion Concealer in the shade 02 Nude to put extra coverage on the areas where I need it. Using the same buffing brush, I'm going to blend it all throughout my face. To blend it even better, I'm going to use a Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush. Also using it as a primer, I'm going to put that all over my lids. From the Miniso 4C Eyeshadow 01 Elegant Purple Palette, I'm going to use this shade right here. To apply my eyeshadow, I'm going to use Real Techniques Eyeshadow Brush. Maglalagay kayo nitong product na to. Hinahinay lang. And then add later on lang. Going back to my palette, I'm going to use this light brown shade and apply it at the center of my lids using my ring finger. Going back to my buffing brush, I'm going to, to clean up the fallout. So, yung kumakita nyo, oh, may mga fall downs. Malik lang ako dun sa pointed foundation brush para makapasok ko sa mga edges na may mga fall down na hindi, hindi naman talaga dapat nalagyan ng eyeshadow. Feel free to add concealer kung sa tingin nyo sa pag-wipe out ng under eye ninyo ay hindi matagal ng fall down. Tapos yung mga pinagpatungan ko ng kamay ko nung nag apply ako ng eyeshadow, medyo nag-mark yung fingers ko. Kaya I'm just going to clean up again using the buffing brush para lang mas seamless lang yung foundation sa skin ko before we set it with the pressed powder. Nakalimutan kong bumili ng pang contour. So, itry natin to kung gagana siya as contour. Dahil creamy siya. Yan yung mayroong contour. Ito yung wala. Nice. Nakaaliw naman ako. Pwede siyang yung ginawa ko siyang contour stick. I'm not sure lang kung dun sa mga ibang eyebrow pencils ni Miniso if it will work as a contour, same as what I did with this one. Pero if you want to use it as a contour stick, better go for this variant ng eyebrow pencil nila. It helped also na doing finish nung BB cream saka concealer cushion. Kasi if I used a matte base, siguro hindi ganito ka seamless mag-blend itong eyebrow pencil as a contour stick. Medyo nagkakulay na yung face ko at saka medyo nagkakontour siya. Bigyan din natin yung nose area natin. Now we can seal already yung face natin using the pressed powder. Ito yung pressed powder. Since first time ko tong gagamitin, I will apply it first using a brush. Except for my under eye. For under eye, apply natin siya using itong favorite sponge ko from Sleek. So it is matte. It has a yellow undertone, kaya okay siya for under eye. Feeling ko, pag nilagay ko to using a sponge sa the rest of my face, babalik na naman yung ghostly na mukhang puting puti talaga. I'm just going to use a blush brush to apply it to the rest of my face. Face. Since creaming ginamit natin na eyebrow pencil, I think I need to use also a pressed powder to seal in yung eyebrows natin para hindi siya mag-move later on. Kahit dab it on lang. And lastly, hindi ko na-include dun sa haul ko itong lipstick. This is called Color Stay Lipstick in the shade 04 Pink. This is also for 99 pesos. So it comes with this packaging again, yung plastic na packaging. When you open it, it reminds me of the Clinique Chubby Sticks. It's not actually a lipstick, para siyang gloss. 
So, ito siya. Retractable siya na parang ang chubby sticks siya ni Clinique. And then lastly, for my blush, going back to the 4C eyeshadow quad, we're going to use this shade as a blush. Kuha lang tayo muna ng konti. Tap natin sa back ng hand natin para hindi masyadong mabigla ang ating mga pisni. sa top of our nose for that sun-kissed finish. Punta na tayo sa shade na to. And let's use it as a highlight. So that's it for my final look, guys. I hope you like it. So, among all of the products that I've used, pinaka nagustuhan ko ay yung dun 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 dun, brow lash. Kasi, uh, in-expect ko sa kanya, magagamit ko lang siya sa kilay at saka sa mata. Pero, na-surprise ako nung pwede ko pala siyang gamitin na contour stick kasi it blended well with dun sa foundation. Gula talaga ako na when I tried blending it uh, straight from the foundation, it blended really well na hindi siya na mumuo or parang hindi siya nag grayish Pwede nga siya talaga gamitin as a uh, contour stick. Kasi, isang product Tapos, pwede mo siyang inutile use eh. Una, nagamit ko siya as eyeliner. Nagamit ko siya as pang eyebrows, pang fill-in ng brows ko. Pangatlo, meron siyang spoolie sa kabilang side na pwede kong gamitin pang brush. Hindi lang ng kilay ko, kundi pati ng eyelash ko. Dahil kung mascara na masyadong thick na pag nag-triple coat ako, feeling ko magka-clump siya eh. Para hindi siya mag-clump, in the middle of application, ginagamit ko itong spoolie ni brow lash para i-brush on siya at to prevent it from clump. So, that's number three. Yung number four, yun nga, is nagamit ko siya as a contour dito sa cheekbones ko, sa temples, and sa nose line. So, ito yung pinaka-marecommend ko kasi in terms of price point, pare-pareho lang naman silang 99. Pero, ito yung nakita ko na pwede ninyong ma-multi-use. It. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to see more of these kinds of videos. Subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have suggestions sa mga gusto ninyo makitang mga videos or mga hauls, just comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye! We're here sa opening ng Miniso sa SM North Edsa.